Hi everyone, this is PK So from Huttons. I'm from SingaporePropertyTV, and today in this short video, I'm going to present to you an opportunity to own a freehold property and asset for the long run around Holland Road area. It's freehold and it is selling at one one six eight per square foot. All right, so you did not hear me wrongly. It is one one six eight PSS PSF for freehold property in this very very good location. And and it's within one kilometers to Henry Park Primary School. All right. So uh, without further ado, in this video, I'm just going to focus on numbers so that you know that your decision, you're making your decisions based on facts and figures, and it all makes sense. Okay. So let me just dive straight into this. The property, the development name is called Pandan Valley. Let me just. Um, uh, go straight to the map uh, just in case you know just just to make sure that you know where it is okay it is in this shaded pink shaded area right now uh, sitting on a huge plot of land more than 850,000 square feet uh, with just 623 units okay so um, you know think about it more than 850,000 square feet of land with just 623 units it's just unimaginable right now if you look at some of the newer launches these days, okay? With that kind of land size, easily more than a thousand units these days, okay? Now, um, so the location is here, it's within one kilometers to Henry Park Primary School. So I'm going to show you some of the numbers uh, of uh, the recent transactions that were done over here at Pandan Valley. All right, as you can see on the screen, I hope you can see it clearly. Okay, uh, these are some of the uh, recent transactions. All right, so in May uh, 2022, we noticed that it has already achieved uh, 1555 PSF. Okay, uh, in March this year, 2022, uh, it has exited $1,600 per square foot. All right, uh, and then for some of the bigger units, all right, it, hinge, it ranges between about 1,000 to about 1,002 PSF um, from 2021 to 2022, all right? So there may be some outliers like this. It was transacted at $800 per square foot. But quite frankly, this is really an outlier. And if you look, you know, ladies and gentlemen, when you look at some of these price transactions and you notice that some of them are so at particularly low price, there could be reasons for that, all right? Um, not... Uh, re referencing to this particular unit, you know, in general, you know, if you look at some of those outliers, it could be maybe due to some personal reasons why they they want to sell and cash out the property, or it could be due to the different layouts, you know. So, for example, in over here in Pandan Valley, uh, some of the units uh, are actually walk up units. Okay, so that means there's no lift landing. Uh, literally, when you're carrying heavy things and you're moving furnitures, or you, you know, when your kids are coming back home, you literally have to walk up to your unit. All right, so there's no lift. Or some of the units here, it could be big, but it's actually divided into three levels, um, with a really, really big uh, terrace. And at the same time, you know, uh, there are split levels within the unit itself. Okay, so it, it depending on your preference, personal preference, uh, some people may prefer not to have units that are too many levels and they would prefer a unit that sits on a lift landing level as well. Okay, so you know when you look at the figures, don't just look at the numbers, but look at the reasons behind the numbers. And when you look at Pandan Valley, you notice that in recent transactions in 2022, especially, okay, so these are the numbers here, 2022, Okay. Okay, it ranges from about one two three six all the way to one six five two PSF. Okay, now uh, prices are really really going up, ladies and gentlemen. When you look at some of the price trends, you'll notice that over here at Pandan Valley, uh, which basically caters to the needs of buyers who are looking specifically for bigger units, bigger homes, more rooms right then you should be looking at some of the older developments especially if you have a certain uh, price constraints all right so for example within say less than 5.5 mil uh, if you want to look for a landed home in the Mount Sinai area 
especially if you want only freehold properties right now it is near to impossible all right you probably need at least six point something mil onwards and that landed house that you're getting may not be in a very good moving condition and you have to spend uh maybe a few hundred thousand dollars doing up that landed home okay so if you have a price constraint or let's say a budget of around five point something mil uh, and you want to look for a landed home within one kilometers to Henry Park Primary School, ladies and gentlemen, the choices are very limited, very limited. Okay, the reason why I'm able to say that with confidence is because I have transacted quite a number of properties in Mount Sinai area within one kilometer to Henry Park Primary, and I can share with you in this video the insights to some of these transactions. All right, so for example, over here at Pandan Valley, you can see that. Uh, the PSF prices have been creeping up uh, ever since the COVID uh, started, okay? So people are really looking forward to getting a bigger home for their families. And with a certain budget constraint, sometimes the choices could be very limited in the market out there, all right? So uh, I have a unit here at 4583 square feet, okay? Four bedrooms, renovated Italian marble, Burmese teak, um, very spacious rooms, living and dining areas. You have two storerooms, one helper's room, and then you have an entertainment come home office upstairs with outdoor terraces for your gardening. And uh, you have pets, you know, there could be a area for them to roam around as well upstairs, okay? So um, I personally think that it is a very good um, opportunity for you, ladies and gentlemen, to own this asset that you're staring at right now of course in this video i'm going i'm not going to dive too much uh into the layouts and all that because all those details can reach out to me but this video is more about giving you the numbers so that you can make well-informed decision okay so now you know about pandan valley so is it a fair value is it a fair asking price at 1168 per square foot okay now Let's take a look at some of the surrounding condos, which are primarily older condos, okay, built in the 1980s. And look at how prices have been transacting over at this Mount Sinai area, okay? Now, let's take a look at, say, Richwood uh, Condominium, which is just right next to Pandan Valley, okay? Pandan Valley, uh, Richwood, okay, very similar attributes, uh, TOP in 1981, uh, land size also pretty big, at 600 more than 650,000 square feet, okay? Locations like that, all right? And um, let's take a look at recent transactions, okay? So uh, you'll notice that uh, Richwood Condominium has already surpassed, ladies and gentlemen, 1547 per square foot, 1547 per square foot, and that was in July, 2021. All right, for a unit size of 2,249 square feet. Okay, 1547 PSF. And in fact, over at Richwood, I have transacted a property uh, back in 2020, uh, end of 2020 at 1424 PSF. At that time, when I sold this uh, property at this price, um, you know, uh, it was basically a record selling price at that time in terms of PSF. At that time, when I was selling at one uh, around this price, uh, some buyers were saying that it's too high. You know, there would, there has been no transactions that cross one thousand four hundred per square foot over at Richwood Condo. All right, eventually the buyer who bought this, it's a young couple. Um, they realized that after searching for a while in the market, you know, with that very specific criteria of being near to. Uh, within, within one kilometer to Henry Park Primary and you know at least 2,000 square feet or more they realized that there isn't much choices anymore all right so at that time they made the decision to go in and enter the market at 1424 per square foot all right now look at what happened since then all right so let's take a look at some of the transactions you see uh, after that you have um, 1434 that was done last year 1547 that was done last year okay 1402 also was done so essentially we are looking at prices 1415 and above and beyond 
Okay, so the fact is this: if I had not done one four two four per square foot, okay, um, if I've if I have not done one four two four per square foot, many of the owners could be still looking at you know below thousand four psf, right? But once the price has been achieved, you can see that the expectations of the sellers after that price being achieved has risen. Okay, so now easily they could be looking at more and beyond whatever transacted prices that you are seeing on the screen already. Okay, so the fact is this, ladies and gentlemen, when you see something that you like, okay, and if it is within your financial means to achieve the price, then my suggestion is in a market like this right now, when prices are really, really going up and when demand is very, very strong, especially for big units, my advice to you is just buy the bullet and go grab it, especially if it is still reasonable. I mean, looking at this, 1,004 per square foot for a triple nine years property in this area, you know, between one kilometers of Henry Park, I think this is really reasonable still, okay? Now, if you look at the price trends, easily you can see that price are trending upwards as well for Richwood condominium, okay? Now, similar story can be shown over here at, say, Fontana Heights, which is also along Mount Sinai Rise, okay? Uh, TOP in 1985. Okay, uh, slightly smaller plot, which is about 70,000 square feet. Fontana Heights here. Okay, and this is also um, freehold, by the way. All right, Fontana Heights is here. Not far from, uh, in fact, it's just opposite Richwood Condo. All right, then let's take a look at the transactions that were done. Okay, if you look at the transactions that were done, ladies and gentlemen, you'll notice that, in fact, this year, 2022, okay, 3466 square feet, okay, which is large unit, okay, it was done at 2020 per square foot, 2020 per square foot, okay, and um, in October last year, it was, there was also another transaction was done very close, it's about 1,900 PSF, same size, 3466, okay, and then, um, in 2020, it has already achieved 1,008, okay? Okay, then the bigger unit was sold at 1,007 PSF. The bigger unit is 4,757, all right? So 2019, it was 1,007. You can see that the prices have really been going up uh, as the years go by. Well, the fact is this, large units are in uh, scarcity right now, all right? So people who have the means to buy it, um, they would want to own something still, you know, while it is below $2,000 PSF, and you can see that it has already crossed 2000 PSF, okay? So imagine this, if somebody looking at all these listings and they were always taking reference with, you know, something that was done in 2019 at 1007, okay? And then whatever that's beyond that, they feel that's expensive, they would never be able to own this unit here, which has been transacted at 2020 PSF, okay? So sometimes when you keep hopping on past transactions, past transactions and past transactions, uh, you will never be able to move forward, all right? As the saying goes, uh, you can never drive forward by keep, when if you keep looking at the real view mirror, okay? The only way is to forget about real, high size and then you just go straight forward and get the deal done okay so um that's for fontana heights and another condo they have transacted is leewood's condominium all right so let's take a look at leewood's condominium leewood's condominium is slightly smaller plot about thirty thousand square feet built in 1985 also along mount sinai rise okay and let freehold as well okay so look at the dust last done here okay and this was in 2021 i have sold this unit at 1389 per square foot ladies and gentlemen uh this is also the record price in laywood's condominium okay 
uh, in fact, uh, until now, this price still holds as a record here. And you'll notice that the last transaction before that deal was done was in 2020, May 2020, and that was about half a year apart. All right, same size, it was done at 1299 per square foot. Okay, so at that time when I was selling at around 1400 PSF, a lot of buyers were telling me that, okay, it is too expensive. All right, it's too expensive. That's never been done at more than 3 million for a 2000 plus square feet unit over there. Okay, how can you be asking for more than 3 million? It's, it's overpriced, it's you know, too expensive. Look. Right now, we are looking at 1389 PSF done, okay, in 2021. You can imagine if there were any sellers who wants to sell. By the way, all these old condos, a lot of these sellers, they have fully paid their mortgage. They have really no intention to sell at all unless they are able to get the price that they want. All right. So for the simple questions, they will always post back to me if I ask whether or not they want to sell. For example, somebody will say that, if I sell a 2,000 plus square feet unit, you know, at $3 million, what else can I buy with that $3 million right now in the market? Quite frankly, I cannot answer the question because they definitely would not be able to get something of the same size in the same district or, you know, maybe newer at that price anymore. Okay, so 1299, 1389. So there was quite a jump right here. But there again, once I achieve that price target, whatever sellers that's coming in right now, they will not be looking at below 1,300 PSF because they know 1,389 PSF has been done. Buyers are willing to pay for it. Okay, so this is Leewood's condominium, also freehold, something that I've done over at Mount, uh, Mount Sinai area within one kilometers to Henry Park Primary. Okay, so now the fact is this, ladies and gentlemen, Back to where we are, okay. Uh, I have this Pandan Valley 4583 square feet duplex, huge unit, okay. Very spacious, very comfortable. Uh, everything is good size, living, dining rooms, um, bedrooms, uh, kitchen, everything is good size, okay. Right now in the market, if this were to be a brand new freehold property in around Holland Road area, it would easily easily exit $10 million, okay? In fact, it is an underestimation at $10 million already, okay? Now you have the opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, to own that unit here at Pandan Valley, 4583 square feet at just 1168 PSF, all right? Now, just to bring back to where we are, the map is here. Now, it's also worth highlighting that over here, Okay, if you notice, you have been following the trend uh, of the government land sales. You also notice that a 99 years plot over there called Pine Grove Grove Pine Grove Parcel A had been successfully bidded. All right, um, at one three one eight PSF PPR. Okay, uh, market sources have been estimating the future launch price of that condo that were to be able to launch right there in this parcel, uh, probably next year in 2023. Um, market feedback has been that it would probably be selling around $2,300 to $2,400 per square foot. And this is an estimation provided the construction cost doesn't continue to go up. Okay, so, uh, well, I believe it will be a very good quality project when it launches next year, um, you know, in that location, um, within one kilometer of Henry Park Primary, which is a very popular primary school, and with the possibilities, ladies and gentlemen, of a cross island nine station that could potentially be constructed nearby along Clemente Road, all right, before you turn into Udu Pandan, somewhere along that stretch that could be potentially across Island 9 Station. So with all this, um, um, you know, amenities that are coming up uh, and within one kilometer to Henry Park Primary School, I believe 2,400 PSF next year, it would probably be very well received 
all right? You may be saying that you're kidding me. No, I'm not kidding you, ladies and gentlemen. If you look at how prices have, how the market has received some of the recent transactions, uh, you will know that this is very, very possible, okay? So, for example, over at East Coast, it has already transacted close to about 2,003 per square foot or even more for a new launch over there at Mountbatten, okay? Uh, same thing, this so 99 years. All right, then you have read also that um, recently there is an on block that was successfully done over in Jurong, okay, uh, Lakeside Apartments. All right, so based on the price that were done and based on the fact that they have to top up the lease back to 99 years and based on whatever marketing costs and construction costs all factored in, the market sources are estimating the launch price at that site to be around $2,000 per square foot, all right? So the norm and the standard in the coming launches will be at least, I personally feel, and that is also the, what the market is feeling right now, uh, you would not see anything that is below $2,000 per square foot anymore. And this is for leasehold new launches. And the fact is that the market is still very, you know, all this, um, the demand for all this product is still very, very high, judging from what has been achieved on, you know, weekend launches, more than 75% sold uh, so far in some of the pro on some of the biggest scale projects uh, in 2022. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I cannot stress enough that you are staring at a golden opportunity, a freehold, a freehold asset right here at Pandan Valley, renovated, a uh, big unit, all right, and you are looking at just 1168 per square foot. 1168 per square foot, per square foot within one kilometers to Henry Park Primary School, okay, and you're sitting on a huge pot, plot of freehold land over here at Pandan Valley, all right. In this video, I'm not going to touch too much on the unit itself, all right. Give me a call at 9697. 1131 9697 1131 and I can share uh, more with you and I can even arrange a viewing for you uh, provided the property is not sold yet. So with this, thank you very much for watching this video. I look very much forward to meeting up with you very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.